welcome to our Mob Observatory and Planetarium. My name is Heather and today we're going to be doing a short outside tour of our beautiful observatory building built in 1790. The Arma Observatory was built in 1790 and was the brainchild of Archbishop Richard Robinson. The architect for the observatory building was a man called Francis Johnson who was a local to Armagh and is also famous for having built the General Post Office in Dublin. The observatory building is stereotypical Georgian architecture which means that it is symmetrical and to keep this symmetry sometimes even fake windows were installed. Here we see three windows at the top of the observatory. Which one of these windows do you think is a fake window? Actually, there are two fake windows here. The middle window is a real window, whereas the other two are the fakes, and this is to help keep the symmetry of the Georgian architecture. In 1827, the observatory got its first and only extension. This extension was built on by the director Thomas Romney Robinson. He was the director that served for the longest at nearly 60 years. He is also famous for having invented the cup anemometer which you can see at the top of this building. The cup anemometer was invented after an event called the Great Wind in Ireland that killed nearly 200 people. Here we can see a plaque commemorating the building of the extension. At the top of this tower lies the Robinson 15-inch reflector telescope. The observatory is also famous for having many telescopes. As well as having the world's oldest telescope still in its original housing, the Triton, we also have the Grubb 10-inch refractor telescope that's located here in the Robinson Memorial Dome. This telescope was put in place in 1885 by our director, Dr. Dreyer. Dr. Dreyer is famous for having created the NGC catalogue, the new general catalogue of clusters of stars and nebulae. The NGC catalogue is famous the world over still today and astronomers have their favourite NGC numbers. Here we have the Calver Dome. Inside it lies the Calver Telescope and unlike the Grubb Telescope, which is a refractor, the Calver is a reflector telescope. This telescope was brought to Armagh in the early 1900s by our director, Dr. Ellison, who had a passion for restoring telescopes. When Dr. Ellison was appointed director of the Armagh Observatory in 1918, his family found the house in a bit of a state of disrepair, and so they set about making the observatory a livable home again and Dr. Ellison set about cleaning and repairing the telescopes that were housed within the grounds. The Armagh Robotic Telescope is the most advanced telescope at the Armagh Observatory and Planetarium. In the early 2000s, it was decided that there was a need for a modern telescope and dome with the goal of making research quality of variable stars and other transit phenomena possible from Armagh. Construction of the dome began in March 2010 and the dome was completed in July of the same year. First light was obtained in February 2011. Our astronomers and PhD students still use this telescope for their research today. The Armagh Observatory has experienced a lot of history and has made astronomical connections across the globe. Not only did we create the NGC catalogue and invent the cup anemometer, we've also had world-renowned astronomers pass through our doors, such as Ernst Uppik and Harlow Shapley. One of our most beloved directors, Eric Mervyn Lindsay, a local man from Northern Ireland, helped create the Armagh Dunsink Harvard Telescope in Boyden Observatory in Bloemfontein in South Africa. We've also been keeping a record of the weather continuously since 1795, every day, come rain, hail and snow. Elements of our history can even be seen in our acres of ground, if you know the right places to look. Here, carved into the bark of this tree, is the name of the youngest son of Dr. Ellison, 
Mervyn, who also became an astronomer. We believe he carved his name into this tree along with his soon-to-be wife Patricia around the time they got engaged in 1933. There are so many wonders to see even in the grounds of the Armagh Observatory and Planetarium. We even have a redwood tree. There's so much history that we can't possibly get through it all in one short video. So why not come down and have a visit and ask those questions that you've always wanted to ask. We're not shy, as you can tell. You can ask us anything. We'll love to tell you more about our history and about science and astronomy. That's why we're still running today, because we have the passion to tell you more. So come down, have a visit when you can, and we look forward to seeing you then.